Okay, you're joining me today, because I can't leave things alone, I want to try and jailbreak this Kindle Fire 5th Gen tablet. This is one of these £35 ones, normally going for £49.99. In my last video I made a guide to show how to get Google Play Store on this. Put Google Play Store on it, and I've been installing apps on it. As you can see, the apps have installed quite well. I've got stuff like Chucky Egg. It works, and it works really well. But now I want to jailbreak it because I want to go some more stuff with it and get root access. So in this guide, I'm going to show you how to do it. It should be a quick, simple one file download and auto run. Okay, first how you do this, go to Yahoo or Google, type in XDA Amazon Fire 5th Gen 2015 root. Go for the second one down. This one. And I'll come up this page. Now, there is another video in this page showing how it's done. So, I'm just going to do this again. So what you need to do is you go down just below the video and you'll get a media file mirror. You should find the root file, um, which is root fire download 30.29 meg and save it to your desktop after it's downloaded you get a root file on your desktop extract it to root when you've extracted it to the folder you'll have a file of the same name as the zip open that you find a root file and in the root file folder you should have all the tools you need once you've got this folder up go to your Kindle, turn it on. Okay, what you need to do if you do it the first time is go to settings, device options, where it says serial number, click it. There's no need, your device is already in developer mode. Um, what you'd need to do though for the first time you do this, you click this one about seven times, and then this option, developer options, will come up. So you turn this on, and it will come up with this warning. Enable this here. Now we're ready to do the jailbreak. Right, um, to make sure what your Kindle is connected properly to your computer, slide down from the top, and you'll see what we're in debugging connected, connected to the media device. But these are the two what you want. Right, when you've downloaded your zip file from XDA, and without these guys we can't actually do this hack at all, so so let's start this hack as of now. So I'm using Windows, so in this okay, in this folder you will find all the things you need. You've got the root, which is for Windows, you've got the root sh, which is for Linux. You've got driver setup, so if your driver for the ADB doesn't work, then you've got two sets of drivers, which is great. As you right click on the root, run this administrator. Administrator, prisoners, but yes. And you'll come up with a command prompt. And this will tell you again about making sure the ADB enabled and tell you a little bit on how to do it. So your guide is right on here. Press any key to continue. It says you should see your device here. ADB and it's not recognized as internal or external command. Operation program or batch file. Okay, so that didn't work for me this time, so I'm going to install the driver. So I'm going to get this open. Okay, we've extracted the zip file and we've opened the file that come with it. Root file. Go to install ADB driver setup. Also on this, turn off your, your um, antivirus. So, my antivirus is there. Exit. 
Okay, when you click to Universal Driver, disconnect your, disconnect your Android device before installing the driver. Put it into the C drive, so that's, that's where it's going to go. Confirm installation next. Just let that driver install. Right now, I've only got a driver at work, and now it's finding my device at the top there. Um, where I went installing that was, go to Windows, Device Manager, ADVC Interfaces, and then I chose from the list Fast Boot Interface. Okay, so I selected my little um, file with this exclamation mark, I right clicked it, I said Update Installer, so Browse from let me pick from the list come here it says all these different options and I chose fast boot interface that's how you do it and this one it likes because as I say when you run the root it gives you a warning press the spacebar and it comes up straight away with the device here. So as you've got an error, don't retry or press the key to continue. So let's press space. Device is in fast boot mode. The computer's going blip 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 blip. Making a little window screen. Okay, so the fire's come on. Right, fast boot mode is active on the Kindle. So now what we need to do is just press the space bar and see what happens. It's got the tether in. It's coming up to fire. Now what we need to do is let it get to the um, lock screen. And press the key to continue. Okay, we're at the lock screen on the Kindle. Press spacebar. The Kindle's gone off again. It's installed a load of files. Let's type the script. When you see the fast screen, which we've now got again, press the key to continue. So we press space. Okay, it says tethering. Uh, it says when you're back at the lock screen. Let's put a load more stuff into the Kindle now. So we're just waiting for it to reboot the lock screen. And it's actually got installing software. Okay, we're at lock screen. When you're at lock screen, press the key once again. Reboot complete, enjoy, press the key to continue. And now the Amazon's come back on. Fire. Okay, and now this should be drill broken. Um, be able to use super user and all that kind of stuff in this. Go and have a look in a minute. With a bit of luck, it's still going to be working. There we go. And now, on the end of the apps, we've got Super SU, which means Super User. You can only have Super User once it's jailbroken. So the guide works. The 
we've got the use super user up and that's all on the little fire tablet now it's really worth having at 35 pound and it's even worth having at 50 so go out buy yourself one enjoy the amazon portal until you get bored then put your play store on it so you can go for google device and now you can even jailbreak it and then you have all the fun of jailbreak okay that's it um thanks for watching this hope you enjoy your new rooted fire tablet it's safe to do as i say i've only just brought this from the store uh, watch my other video part one the unboxing and part two how to install google play store okay then thanks for watching yet again and i'll see you next time on a new video bye for now